In this lecture, we'll complete step two of the schematic design workflow that you can see here, which is to find the symbols in KiCad libraries and drop them into the worksheet in the schematic editor. So in this lecture, I'll show you how to find the required symbols using the symbol chooser and then to place them in the schematic design editor. This project is simple, so the, the good thing about that as well is that all the symbols that we need are part of the standard libraries, so we're not going to have to go elsewhere to look for symbols that perhaps are not part of the KiCad built-in libraries. In later projects, uh, we'll have to go out and look for such uh, symbols in third-party libraries, but we don't have to worry about that for now. Just a short interruption to let you know that this video is part of my comprehensive KickUt course that will teach you every aspect of creating printed circuit boards with KickUt from scratch. Go to the course page to learn more about it if you want. Find the link to the course page in the description below and treat yourself with a discount coupon for my YouTube viewers. Okay, let's continue with the video. So let's get right to it. So the first thing to do is to click on this button right here, add symbol, or alternatively, you can just point anywhere inside the editor just to focus the editor with your pointer and then type the A key. And that, as you can see, changes the, the cursor and brings up the symbol chooser. So once you have the symbol chooser up, you can either scroll to find the item that you're looking for, or use the filter, which is, I think, a more efficient way to go about it. So let's say that you want to find an LED, just type LED up here, and you'll see your options. Now I've got a third-party library from SparkFun that also contains an LED component, but as I said, we're gonna use built-in libraries only. So I'm gonna go for the LED collection. Down here somewhere, we'll find Another one, yeah, there's another one, device. That's what the one that I'm actually looking for. Uh, a simple LED, uh, simple LED device is what I'm looking for. You can see there's many other options like RGB LEDs and, and so on, lots of options here. But let's go for the simplest possible option, which is this LED. So you can look for other information about the chosen symbol. You can see that it's got a, a reference with a question mark. It means that it still has not been assigned with a unique identifier, but it is a device of type D. There's no footprints associated with this particular symbol, and the description is a light emitting diode. I'll show you something else. Like, for example, if you go for the SparkFun LEDs, you can see that uh, this particular LED is already associated with a default footprint uh, that was done as part of the library. This library comes with both symbols and with footprints, and the association is already defined inside this symbol. And you can see that there's other options for footprints that you can choose to override the default, and it would look like this. And there's information about that as well. So all this information here is available to you just so you can choose uh, the appropriate symbol for your purposes for your requirements and to um, to know what you're choosing because as you can see there's so many different variations so i'm going to go for this this is a symbol that comes with uh, the built-in symbol libraries in KiCad. it's not associated to a particular footprint but don't worry about this we're going to do it manually later on there's options for you to choose here but as i said we'll are going to do the associations in an explicit step a little later. Uh, I've got the associations in the next step right here. Okay, let's click OK and uh, attach or drop the part right here. Let's continue. Uh, let's go for the next one, will be a resistor. I'm just going to type R and under device R, I'm going to choose this particular built in device symbol. Lots of footprints for this so you can choose, but there's not a default footprint associated. We'll do that later. Click OK. I'm going to rotate now the symbol to align it with the LED. So I'm going to type the R key on my keyboard. And each time that I press it, you can see that it changes the orientation. So I'll drop it and uh, settle it right there. Next is the switch. So I'm going to type the A key again to bring up the symbol 
user. And for this, I'm going to type in SW, see what comes up, underscore, type a few more characters, DP. I want to go for this one right here. So this is a, a switch symbol. It contains two units. I only need to use one of the two units here. So you could choose this one or you can do, or you can go for another option. Actually, let's go for this one. Yeah. So let's go, we're going to go for this one with the knowledge that it contains two units, but that's okay. We are only going to use one of the two. Click OK and let's place that right there. Okay. Hit the escape key to stop drawing because I guess you can see what happened. I'm just actually going to do this again because this, this is interesting. I'm going to delete this symbol with the interactive delete tool. Hit escape, tap the A key to go back to pick up this symbol. Click OK and you can see the first unit, unit A, is dropped and then the second unit, unit B, is dropped. In my case, as I said, earlier I only need the first unit not the second unit so I'm going to delete the second unit just select it with your mouse hit the delete key and that's it one unit only is enough for this particular project and finally there is the battery symbol so I'm going to type the A key to bring up the symbol chooser and type battery so there you go. Uh, that's the one that I want. This one right there. Click OK and rotate it until we have this arrangement so that the anode of the battery cell points towards the switch. OK. So we've got the symbols on the worksheet. And if we zoom out, it looks like this. I only need a little bit of space for this simple circuit. So I can use this button here to zoom to the objects. This uh, arrangement of the symbols is actually looking pretty good. So the next step is to do the arrangement, the annotation and the association. Actually, most of this work is already done. So this is a, a small project, but let's continue in the next lecture. Anyway, we're going to spend most of the time doing the association. Let's continue then.